Hey guys, it's Jack from CruiseCasinoMafia.com and I thought people might be interested. I was gonna do this as a member only video, but I'm doing this and I'll put it out for anybody that uh, wants to watch it. Uh, this is, it's, this video is being recorded Friday morning. I'll try, I'll probably put it up right away. Um, I am going to Vegas on Sunday and will be there through next Thursday. So I don't think I've ever done a video that kind of explained how I prepare for one of these um, casino income trips, right? If you want to call it something like that. Now, let me preface this. This is a uh, pre-planned trip. Uh, I'm going with, um, my dad is actually meeting me out there. He hasn't been to Vegas in a few years. And I thought it would be really nice for him, he hasn't been to Vegas in a while, to meet me out there, run around and have a good time. So this is kind of, uh, it's not the same as the last Vegas trip or our Biloxi testing trip from last month, where it was really meant, uh, not as really a vacation, but really a working scenario to be testing. This is kind of, I would say 70, nah, maybe I'm wrong. I'd say this is probably a 60-40 deal where, um, where I'm out there to hang out with my dad and have a good time and, and kind of relax. It's been a lot of work lately between the casino testing stuff and doing videos, working on helping uh, the creator with Baccarat Squared, working on Baccarat Cypher, working on the new roulette cypher coming out. So much stuff between that and my day job, which is uh, playing attorney and helping people with diminished value claims for cars. So basically what that is, you can check it out. If you or a family member or a friend has a car that's within five years old and you've been in an accident that is not your fault, uh, I can assist you with getting a additional settlement check for the diminished value of your automobile or your SUV or your truck. You can check that out by going to attorneyjack.com, attorneyjack.com. So needless to say, it's been real busy. So the point of the story is this trip is more of a mixture. So 60% of kind of what I'm doing on this trip is gonna be just having a good time with my dad, relaxing and just, just, walking away from the computer for a few days. But 40% of this trip approximately is going to be uh, actively testing and working strategies like I usually do. So even though this is not 100% um, casino focused testing whatever uh, trip, I still am gonna go through the same paces today and tomorrow before Sunday. So I wanted you to know what that means. So preparing for your casino income trip uh, is not loosey-goosey. So we don't just fly by the seat of our pants. If you're going to the casino for this weekend, if you're going to Vegas or Biloxi, or if you're going on a cruise, especially a cruise where it's you know a four day or a seven day cruise. What I found many years ago is that if you go and you don't have somewhat of a regimented game plan that I'm gonna discuss with you, then you, it just doesn't work out. Even if you're a very organized person, it just doesn't work out. So here's what I'm doing today and tomorrow. The last few uh, trips have been very Baccarat intensive because of testing for all these other things I've been talking about. Well, I can tell you that this trip is definitely not gonna be Baccarat intensive for me, all right? Without a doubt. This is going to be mainly back to what I've always loved. This trip is gonna be, for me, 
more of a craps and sprinkling in a little bit of roulette all right that's what this trip is going to be i'm not telling you i'm not going to play baccarat at all but i don't think after the last three four trips to vegas and definitely the last biloxi trip that i want this to be a baccarat intensive okay so once i've made that decision what ends up happening next is i sit down and that's what i'm doing today is I am going to evaluate two, three, maximum of four for me. Maximum of four, uh, you know, crap systems. Out of all the crap systems that I played over the years and all the ones that I've given members of CruiseCasinoMafia.com, I'm going to focus down. I'm going to drill down to get to two, three, four systems. Probably three systems. You don't need more than that. Okay, unless there's something you're just dying to try, all right? I'm going to narrow that down to the three crap systems that are going to be the keys for this trip, all right? I'm going to take notes. I'm going to write them down, obviously in a Word doc, right? I'm just going to put them down on a Word doc so that I can remember if there's any question in my mind. Um, the rules for each system. Now, you may say, well, how do you not know the rules for each system? Let me tell you something, guys. With the amount of videos and content that I do, there are systems I played for a zillion hours years ago, and I can't in re even remember until I look at the sheet or I re-familiarize myself sometimes. Now, the minute I do that, I remember all the rules. But that's the way that I do it. So I will now make a list of the three crap systems that'll be the keys for this week, all right? I'll write them down. I'll jot down a couple of notes for each one. And I'll also make notes in regards to uh, bankroll uh, and make notes whether I'm playing them what kind of starting bets and, and the le levels and things like that if I'm playing them on an electronic craps, which means I can play them for much less money for starting bets, versus live tables where in Vegas, you know, unless you're going downtown and even then it's not as easy, it's, it's hard to find those $5 tables nowadays, that's for sure. I don't even remember seeing a $5 actual full table in Vegas the last time I was there. I think most of them were $15 minimum, something like that. Uh, maybe if you go off the strip, maybe you can find some. But that's the beauty of these electronic craps tables and uh, being able to play on them. So it's kind of the stadium version, that's the way I call it, of the way we play Baccarat. So we play Baccarat a lot at these stadiums where they're using real cards, but um, you're, you're putting your bets in electronically. And that's the only way with Baccarat you'll ever get to $5 bets because you can't find anything below $25 minimum tables for Baccarat almost anywhere. It's brutal. Thank God with craps that's not the case. That would, that would be horrible if it was. So now I've narrowed down my three games, my three primary um, strategies with money management and everything else on the Word doc, okay? Now, in this case, I know I'm going to play a little bit of roulette because my dad's going to be with me. And I want to sit down with him at some of the electronic roulette to be able to show him some of these simple, the easier uh, roulette systems that have really, really, really proven out to be very, very good. And there's been quite a few. And by the way, some of these I've given you guys for free on this channel, on the YouTube channel. They're not all private on the, uh, some, of the good, some of the good roulette systems I have released uh, publicly, all right? So um, I think there's, I don't know. There's two that I've really played and demoed a lot lately. And and they've really done well. And they're so simple. Especially if you're playing electronic. Because you're not moving the bets around on some of them. You know, you're almost making this, almost the exact same bets every time. 
Uh, one of them, you're actually adding some bets, but it's really easy. And you can play those on the electronic for as low as you, as low as the minimum can go. Um, so I think that probably two to three of those are going to be on the list. And they'll all be on a Word doc. And then what I do is I'll take a picture of the screen, of my computer screen, so it's on my phone, right? I'll always have it on my phone. And now I don't have to scramble and sit down somewhere and say, oh my God, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I playing? What do I want to play? And either make mistakes or half-ass it, meaning that I'm kind of playing the, the, uh, the strategy, but I'm not playing it correctly. So this kind of gives me an overall view going into the, into the week as to what I'm probably going to be using. No stress, no, you know, on the moment make a rash decision, you know, betting or anything like that. So now that I kind of have an overview of what I'm looking to do, I make sure that, and, and this is me, guys. I've done this for 25, 30 years, and I'm probably never going to change this. I know that it's always better to have bankroll way more than what you need. That's just me psychologically. I don't want to have any stress whatsoever. So when I evaluate the different things that I'm looking to do, I make sure that I take way more bankroll than needed because I don't want to bump up against any of that stress. Okay? And you, and you may say to yourself, well, not everybody can do that. Yeah, they can, because almost all of these systems can be played on the electronic versions of roulette or the roll to win or the electronic versions of craps. So most of the things that, 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 we, that you learn, that private members learn from us, most of the strategies, you don't need huge money. Yes, you see some of these... Um, some of these channels like Wayland's Craps and some of the others and Gambling with Jimmy and things like that. And you'll see them playing with $5,000, $3,000 uh, bankrolls for a strategy. And I think some people think that those strategies will only work with big money. And sometimes that's true. I'm not saying it's never true. But the majority of those systems can be dumb, dummy down to play at a much, much lower level, okay? And you know our philosophy on that. If that's all you have and that's your bankroll, we'll start where it's reasonable for you and then create a bankroll builder plan where after you reach a certain amount of money that's needed to increase your base bets, only at that time will you go up a level and increase your base bets. So you've got to have a plan right? Now, that brings me to the next question. Most of the time, we, we preach building a bankroll plan, or as our buddy may call it, uh, as Donnie calls it, um, a money mountain, right? Something that, that gives you a game plan from taking your $5 base bets to the 10, to the 25, to the 50. And we think that's crucial when you're looking at casino income as a long-term paycheck generator, right? Well, for me on this trip, this is really not that kind of a trip for me. The, the last few trips were. But as I said, I'm there to hang out with my dad, have a good time, play, make money and keep rolling and moving from one place to the next and having some great dinners and, and just enjoying Vegas, right? So this trip is not really going to uh, utilize probably any um, bankroll builder plan or money mountain, right? Whatever you want to call it. I don't think so because I'm not really focused on one specific strategy where we build a plan around that strategy to keep increasing 
our base bets. We're gonna be floating. That's really what's gonna happen on this trip. So this trip, I'm not gonna need a bankroll builder plan. But most trips, if we're focused and it's a Baccarat trip and we're focused on playing one strategy that we really feel confident about, and we're gonna be playing it for days and days and days and days, or it's something that, that I play from home where it's not a trip-based thing, it's a situation where you're playing it in your local casino, I always have a bankroll builder plan for that because that's an ongoing deal, right? That's the point is to keep moving your money up and keep moving your base bets up, right? That's the way everybody should work, whether you're trading or in the casino or whatever it may be. This trip, that's not the case. We're gonna just be rolling with the different strategies, hopefully ending sessions positively and having fun and moving on. So bankroll builder plans will not be a part of this quickie trip to Vegas, all right? But I will tell you that if you, if you treat this like a business, you need to record, you need to record your sessions. So I will be treating it such in that manner always. I will always record on my phone what my end result was for the session and what, uh, and what strategy that I was using at that point. For, uh, for means of being able to always have that track record and then like a log, okay? It's a, it, you know, I learned that from trading years ago. You log every trade you do so then you can calmly evaluate your week, your day, your month. Always, always. You have to know how you're doing, what's going on, what are your averages. Statistics are always a big part of making this thing into a business. Being happy that you made a bunch of money and running out of the casino is fantastic. Being able to analyze that data later on is more important, all right? So that's what my day is gonna be today and tomorrow, is to hone down the strategies that I'm bringing with me on this trip, and they're gonna be my Bible for this trip, strategy Bible, and that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of that um, and it's more important to do this if you're going away, right? If it's a trip. If you're playing consistently, like many of our members, on your, in your local casino, then uh, you know exactly what you're doing every day because you're either playing the same one or two strategies or whatever it may be because you're looking to go up a, 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 a plan, a, a bankroll building plan or a money mountain, right? So you, you know what you're doing every single day. You're not changing it for the most part right? But with a trip, you want to plan ahead. And this is really especially true when we do our cruises. I love playing on cruises because most of the tables are not crazy uh, minimums on the cruises. And I've done very, very well on the cruises, really well. Uh, don't ask me why, but I have very few losing, I'm not saying sessions, but losing cruises, like the, the full cruise losing. I quit very quickly. I cut off my wins, I cut off my losses, and um, I do really well on cruises. So that'll be a video for another day to talk about uh, what's different about going on a cruise casino vacation versus going on one of these vacations to Biloxi or Foxwoods or Atlantic City or whatever it may be. All right. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an insight as to what my day today and tomorrow is going to look like in regards to the strategies that I'm bringing with me to play in my casino Bible, right, for the week. And people that are part of Cruise Casino Mafia, I'm probably going to do a, a video. It may even just be a short while I'm in Vegas or while I'm in the airport or while I'm in the hotel giving you the actual strategies that I've decided on for this trip. But the only way you can get that is if you're a member of CruiseCasinoMafia.com. I'll, I'll give you guys the actual links to the strategies I'm going to be using. Okay. So then you, you're almost uh, rolling along with me on this trip. And I'll let you know how everything does. And you'll have a better idea as to live action, what's going on with me 
and maybe that'll give you a little more incentive to either learn craps if that's not a game you're doing right now or take advantage of one of those strategies and play along. All right. Well, check us out if you're not a member of CruiseCasinoMafia.com. Use the code MAFIA and the number 50. And um, for people that are not members yet, remember there are not only the benefits of getting the 400 plus strategies, videos, and PDFs, uh, but you also get access to outside things that are only available to uh, members of CruiseCasinoMafia.com. These are either collaborations or special projects that I have begged and pleaded with those creators to make these things available to our people, even though they don't want them available publicly. Things like Baccarat Squared, which are not currently available to anybody unless you're a member of um, Cruz Casino Mafia. So there you go. Uh, one other quick note. Um, I have held the... Um, the uh, lifetime membership cost at, if you're using the, um, the code Mafia50, you're getting the lifetime membership right now for $350. You're getting over 400 strategies and videos, and you're never paying another dime for anything we put out in the club, so to speak, right? Well, it's become brutal how much work I'm doing here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys advance warning. If you have not become a lifetime member at this point, all right, um, a lot of things are gonna be coming here, either before 2025 or rolling into 2025, depending on how fast they can happen. Um, there's gonna be changes, all right? Because I need to be able to be able to focus on being able to do more, which means that I've got to balance out everything that I'm doing. The only way to keep doing what the amount of content that we're giving to members, as well as more stuff that I really want to be doing, I can't keep doing it at this level. Okay, so everybody that's grandfathered in with a lifetime membership, congratulations, you are smart. Please take advantage of that price right now because it's not gonna be there for much longer. I'm not able to continue to do this. I've done it for over a year and a half now at that price, and I, I can't keep doing it. So the membership, lifetime membership, is going to be going up. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. it due to the tech costs, um, the guys who helped me put everything together, I can't keep doing it at this price and the time that I'm putting in. So if you're on the fence, let me tell you, there are people that are charging, as you know, uh, $500 a system, $1,000. There's a guy on YouTube, I won't mention his name, not a huge fan. Um, he's been around for quite a while. He charges like, I don't know what it is, $2,000, $3,000 for one of his Mickey Mouse systems. All right, I never hear anything good from people that buy from that guy. But whatever it is, the point is, um, our membership fee includes over 400 strategies, systems, money management concepts. And by the way, a lot of things that are not casino based as well. I give you guys everything I possibly can that could potentially bring in an income. And that's gonna increase as well in the next year. So. Take advantage of it now. You're basically, you're paying less than a dollar per video, per strategy, per whatever. And it just goes down because we continue to create new things every week. All right? Um, there is no better deal than that. I can guarantee you. All right? So the price is going up. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'm not releasing that information yet because I don't know what it is. But it ain't going to be 350 with a coupon. That's for sure. So if you've been on the fence and you already see um, the value you've been getting from the free videos and everything else you're seeing, uh, jump in now because very, very soon that, uh, that window is going to close and you're going to have to pay a lot more. All right. If not, it's okay. Uh, we give free stuff right here on the YouTube channel. So like, help me build the YouTube channel, subscribe. 
And uh, I'll always give you guys good content and open your eyes to things right here. And uh, wish me luck on my Vegas trip. Um, I'm looking to have a lot of fun. Looking to spend some time with my dad. And, um, and make some money. We'll see you on the next one. CruiseCasinoMafia.com.